Hi, in this session we are going to discuss about amount of braking force is required to stop a moving vehicle. When we are riding on a bike, the velocity changes from initial velocity V1 to V2. As the velocity increases, stopping distance also increases and the braking force also increases. See here, velocity is directly proportional to the force into distance. Here m is equal to mass of the vehicle plus mass of the rider. V is the velocity of the vehicle. F is the braking force required. D is the total distance traveled before it stops. Here the biker, the bike rider observes a dog here. So this is the distance. How much braking force is required before it hits the dog? Here velocity changes from V1 to V2. We will exclude this in the MATLAB. Open a new script. Clear all. Close all. CLC. Adding. Breaking force. Required to stop a breaker. Required inputs M1 is equal to 180 mass of the motor cycle in kgs M2 is equal to 75 mass of the rider in kg small m is equal to m1 plus m2 total mass d is equal to 200 distance from motor bike cycle to dog this is spelling mistake D A S T A here C A V V is the velocity lens space and comma Velocity of vehicle ten meter per second to fifteen meter per second. What is lens space? Here we will say in the command window lens space one ten. See, 10 means lens space is a linearly spaced vector and here 10 means number of the elements 1 to 10 in between 1 to 10 we need 10 elements see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 these 10 elements are equally spaced up See, difference between first element and second element is 1, second element and third element is 1, third element and fourth element is 1. This is the linearly spaced vector. If you want to read about this syntax, just type that in space. See, lens space, linearly spaced vector, x1, x2, x1 and x2 are the two arguments, x1 is the start and x2 is the end, lens space x1, x2, n, 
if it doesn't give the third argument by default it creates 100 linearly equally spaced points if you want if we don't we don't want 100 we want 50 or 200 or 300 so in this case we need to give a third argument n now we will come to here breaking force breaking force F is equal to see here the formula M into V square by 2 into D M into divided by Here do you observe dot here? Dot means this V is a vector, it's an array, 10 to 50, 100 points. We have 100 elements in this array. So each time it takes one by one element. Dot means it it creates a dot product. If we miss the dot here, we will face an error. Plot Velocity, common force, we will exclude this. See. It looks like weird. We need the labeling in x axis, y axis. We will label this x and y axis. x axis velocity in meter. force in Newton. See we got the labels here. X label is velocity and the Y is breaking force. We need title also here. Calculations. See here we got a nice graph. On the x-axis velocity is in meter. See 10 to 50. Our range of velocity is from 10. 10 to 50. And it calculates the breaking force as per this velocities and just keep your cursor on the point here there you will get the x and y coordinates I would like to change the color of this graph and the thickness of the line so plot comma I want red color red line width 3 thickness of the line now exclude this see in plot v is the x axis and f is the y axis it means velocity and breaking force and r is red color and line width width of the line is 3 Here it's plotting too many things in the command window. I don't I don't like to print these things in the command window. 
so just keep semicolon here Now it's not printed. Now it's printed only forces. I don't like to print these forces also. See. Nothing is printed here. If we add a semicolon here, it doesn't print in the command window. If you want the forces here, just type F and enter. It prints the forces values. Thank you.